Hello everyone. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate briefly how to remove resin from teeth without using a high-speed handpiece. Now, as you can see, we already took the brackets off, but there's some facial resin here still. So what we can use is an instrument here. Um, we have two different ends to it. This top part here is where you kind of have the purchase point on the tooth. And then the bottom part is that blade, essentially, that's going to remove the resin. So um, just as it looks, you find your point on the inside of the ledge there kind of level it up so it's 90 degrees, and then you're just gonna do strokes by squeezing the pliers from gingival to incisal, and then you're gonna see that resin there kind of chipping off of the tooth. And so you just make these small strokes here. I wouldn't expect this to be perfect, but it'll get the bulk of the resin off of the teeth. And then later on in a month or two, when you feel more comfortable, we can go ahead and remove the remaining. So just a couple of contraindications to think about prior to doing this procedure. One of them would be if anybody has any sort of pre-treatment facial resins, that's something you wanna be aware of as when you're doing this stroke here and removing the brace paste, that filling might be bonded to the brace paste and then the whole thing dislodges. So I'd look over the pre-treatment radiographs as well as the photos, just ensuring that there aren't any sort of resins that you may dislodge. Um, another thing would be anybody that has really thin enamel, you know, that translucent almost enamel, you wanna be careful with any sort of pressure with this instrument um, in doing that. And lastly, if anybody has any sort of decalcification, especially on that gingival area, if you were to kind of scrape at that area, it actually kind of turns into a spoon excavator at that point if that enamel is really soft. So be, being aware of all of those things is very important before starting the procedure. So one really nice thing about brace paste is it actually fluoresces under UV light. So you can take any sort of UV device and you can shine it on the teeth and you can see upper right three, four, and five. Um, you can see that resin there. But if we go over to upper right one and two, you can see we've already removed that. So just a great way to check your work, especially if you're getting people back at the end for a final polish. Um, it's just a good way to make sure there's no resin left on the teeth. Thanks for tuning in.